already deafening. Is we it? We don't need to go any louder. I can't hear now. All right, welcome to the first episode of the vlog of the build out. Can't disclose the name of it yet, but less than a month um, actually touching and building the space. Brand new tile has been put in. Lots and lots of work to be done. Lots of work has been done. Ran all these cables. Everything goes back to this corner right here. So full stage. Now we're doing a temporary stage for now. We put all these holes in the ceiling. These guys, this is called tie line. The reason I'm here today and I was able to get in after the construction crews were here, I am going to make some new holes that go down the basement. So like I said, rack goes over there in that corner. Gonna go up to the ceiling all the way over and finally come down. Probably go into the kitchen through the wall and come down here. And then I'm gonna drill some holes in this very back corner here. I'm gonna drop down into the basement, which is pretty much right over the office downstairs. We also have all the camera system being run from this rack too. So we're gonna do all the IP cameras. Lots and lots to do, but we got a new tool, a giant hammer drill to get into the basement. That's this guy right here from Harbor Freight. I've never used it before. Should be fun. Let's see if I can drill a hole. Okay, I need ear protection because that hurt. Not a perfect solution, but what I have is I have AirPods and I have these over the ear headphones. So around there was the holes and then come through here down the stairs. There's the office and the holes. I'm hoping are coming out somewhere around here. I'm gonna stick my head up through here and see if I can find where those holes are. Alright, so pull the cable with the fish stick. Get it to here, then pull it all the way to the office. Okay, so overall successful. Let's see right there, holes are made. Those two were mistakes, but that's okay. But that drill was good. Uh, it was nice and powerful. Uh, made my life easy, so not too bad, right? We're gonna put movers in the ceilings. Of course, we're using Mad Mapper. We already have a rack that is being put together at the warehouse. So Yo, Brandon, what you got there? A bunch of speakers for our install. Can you believe all this fit in my car? We actually have a whole nother stack too. All right guys, so today we're gonna to talk about these new speakers that we got in uh, from DOS, 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 something like that. OVI 12 series. I have no idea if that's how you're supposed to say it. But that's these guys, they are pendulum speakers. So they go up into the ceiling and hang and point straight down. That's kind of the point of them. But back here are the new line array speakers we have from DOS. Um, but first, I think I'm gonna clean everything up and kind of get it all organized. And then we'll go over all the specs. Let's do it. All right, so now that we cleaned up a little bit, let's take a look at these guys. I'm just gonna pull one of these off, open it up, see what it looks like. So this is what they look like. Uh, these are passive speakers. The difference between passive and active, an active speaker has an amplifier built into it. A passive speaker, um, kind of like a home stereo, no amplifier built in, you need a separate amp to run these. You can see here, there is a hook on the back, right? These are how they're supposed to be hung. Whether you do a chain or a wire, or however you want to hang it, um, they're pendulums. So they basically, you hook to it here, it just hangs, points straight down. You can also buy fly brackets for them. Mount these with a bracket and then you can rotate them and hang them that way instead of hang them straight down. We're gonna use them straight down. That's what we went with. So we have 12 of those to put throughout the venue. And uh, this over here is the rack that everything gets wired to. So um, right now there's a lot of empty space in it. It will eventually all be full. So start at the bottom, a power battery back up at the bottom. That's a UPS system. And then we have uh, two amps here by Dynacord. We expected that with certain amps and gear. And then we had to change based on what was available so we could actually build and get this venue open. So I'm not super familiar with Dynacord, but I do know it's a name brand. We're at least two rack mount computers here and here. So they're gonna be running all of our video systems, audio, playback, things like that. 
Then we'll probably have some cable boxes up here. Um, we happen to have a drawer here at the moment. And in this, what most people would know as a DBX unit, this one's called an 11 sound. I guess it's by 11 sound, EP260. Basically, you cannot get your hands on a new DBX unit right now. Uh, and normally they're used for uh, changing sources or um, EQing out a room, setting delays for different sets of speakers. And we're probably gonna have some video distribution stuff happening in here. Uh, we are doing video over IP for everything, but we might also have some ATEM or Blackmagic products like a 12 by 12 or a 20 by 20 video hub. Might have an ATEM switcher in here, things like that. So that can live in this space um, because we are gonna be doing, or at least have the ability to do live streams, multiple cameras, things like that, because we are building a live band venue. Wanna have those capabilities moving forward. Then we have a uh, security camera system. So this is a DVR for all the security cameras that we can remote into. And then finally, a bunch of switchers. Uh, so what we have going on here is basically all of this is for our cameras and all of kind of the ethernet ports around the venue. Um, so that's what this handles here. And you can see that we're looping from this switch into these two. So these two will kind of handle our cameras. The rest of these ports will be used for ports around the venue. And then up here, this switch is dedicated for video over IP. So basically an ethernet cable ran to each and every TV with a box on the end of that cable to convert uh, video signal to let's say HDMI so it can actually go into the TV. So that's what this switch is for. And finally a power strip. All right, so that's the rack. Uh, all this stuff is like patch cable, projector, uh, a lot of lighting. So let me take over the lighting from movers, wash lights, haze machines, all the audio and the front of house system. So we are gonna be using the Q32 for our audio mixer front of house. And it's great for live bands because it has all the physical faders pretty much on a single page. And then over here we have the DAS DOS line array. Vantech speakers, so Vantech here. Um, four tops, two dual 18 inch subs. So pros and cons about these speakers. Um, aesthetics actually do matter, funny enough. Usually it's all about the sound, right? It's all everyone ever cares about. If your speakers don't look good, and I'll show you an example in the back in a sec, um, then no one, like your whole venue is gonna kind of look ugly if you have ugly looking speakers. So the speakers, they look good. Uh, at the moment we are going to ground stack them, so I'm glad they have a pole mount um, in them. And then another really nice thing was they're pretty easy to stack and put together in terms of the line arrays, like clicking together. And they have an integrated pole mount, which is really nice. So now I don't need all this extra hardware just to slap it on a pole. Uh, but we do have the hanging brackets, which is an extra piece of hardware uh, for these guys. Not that you can feel it. Doesn't necessarily beat out our actual line array system that, you know, is huge, but it's enough to make a giant impact in what isn't a very large space. So this system is easily overkill for the space, which is perfect because that's how we like to do things. Um, like I said, we can feel it on our chest. Funny enough, in testing, we realized, well, at first we thought these speakers didn't kick very hard and then later realized uh, it was our own fault because, well, We're idiots. Yeah, because we're idiots and uh, we were using this really thin cable from Amazon Basics to get sound from the laptop into the mixer. And we're doing all these tests and we have it EQ'd and we're like, wow, these speakers aren't hitting as hard as they should be. Like, what's wrong? Dude, are they not great? Or Anyway, we found out that it was this cable just did not was not able to send the low frequencies, uh, meaning the bass, um, enough. Like, it was not sending the low frequencies of the music through the cable as much as it should. So then we started using a DI box, uh, which is actually meant for these things. Then we got the full signal actually going through into here, and then we can start feeling the bass. So if you're using cheap cables like this, know that you're not gonna get the full quality sound out of them, um, which if you don't have low end, might not be a big deal. If you're trying to get a lot of bass out of your system, it is a big deal. All right, so you wanna see an ugly speaker versus a good looking speaker. Our RCF speakers. The older gen 745 sounds great, they are a power horse, still a workhorse for us, but they just don't look that great. Then you have the RCF 945s, so the ART 945s. They are a great looking speaker and they sound great. They are louder than the 745s. The low end on them is great. It's just the whole speaker, I love it. We are big RCF fans over here. Um, this would be a good looking speaker. This is an older model. I'm glad RCF changed over, but that's the difference between what I think is an ugly looking speaker to a good looking speaker. All right, so I hope you like that behind the scenes of a little bit of what we're working on, whether we're building out venues or doing live production, getting new gear in, things like that. 
you like these types of videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments. If you don't, let me know what you would like to see, whether it's gear, long videos, short videos, reviews, whatever. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe, or these guys are fired. I'm not angry, John. It's not happy when you do that thing. The other system we're installing in a new venue, right? That's a boss man. Hey, let's go. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your video. Did you record that? <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs>